Hey guys, James with Torches and Tactical. And before I say anything, yes, the fall is here and I am sick. So I apologize for my voice throughout this video. Um, I'm going to be drinking some water, so hopefully it gets a little bit better. But that being said, guys, today we have the brand new Olight Baton 4 Premium Edition. Now, it's not just an upgraded light, but they also upgraded the case. That's why it is called the Premium Edition. This gives you wireless charging for your light as well as USB-C output for all your other devices. So they've stepped up in a lot of different ways for the new Baton 4 and the Baton 4 Premium Kit. And after I'm done talking about all this, I can tell you right now that if this is something that you are interested in, I can tell you that they are going to be having their Black Friday sale starting today. Today at 8 p.m. running all the way until Monday the 27th at midnight. So if the Baton 4 or any of the other Olight products interest you, you can use the coupon code TSTA10 and save for, save 10% on all of your orders except for sale items and the X9R. So speaking of sale items, during that sale, the Baton 4 Premium Kit is on sale for a paltry $69.99. So you get the light, you get the charging case, and everything else that comes with it. But if you want to know exactly what this is, the Baton 4, this is a new light. It just came out. It's a new version of the Baton 3, and this gives you up to 1300 lumens. And in addition to that, you do have a high mode of 600 lumens, medium of 60 lumens, low of 12 lumens, and even a moonlight mode. So you can get half a lumen, and that will run for 30 days. As far as the changes go, you do have indicators here on the left for your output, and on the right for your battery, and you get a lot of new additions and changes, upgrades, whatever you want to call them, with that premium charging case. So let's go ahead and run through a couple more specs real fast, then I'll show you everything that came in the package, and then we'll get down to the brass tacks. Now one thing obviously you do get in the case is your Baton 4. Now the Baton 4 comes in at 63 millimeters by 21 millimeters and only weighs 52 and a half grams. That's with the included 16340 cell. Now speaking of that 16340 cell, that is 650 milliamp hours, but this whole light, even at 52 and a half grams, is still IPX8 waterproof rated, as well as drop resistance rated to one and a half meters. Now if we move on to that case, that case comes in at 65 millimeters by 32 millimeters by 88 millimeters. So this whole case with an included 5,000 milliamp hour cell does weigh 142 grams. So if you're wondering what all is new about the Baton 4 premium case, now this will output from the USB-C here. This is one of the new features here. So USB-C output, this will give you 10 watts or five volts at two amps. And the Baton 4, the Baton 3, the S1R, the S1R2, the Perrin Mini, and the Perrin Mini 2 all work with this case. So you can charge any and all of those lights at 4.2 volts and 1 amp. And as far as the Baton 4 is concerned, you can charge it up in one hour. So now that we've run through a couple dimensions and stuff, let's go ahead and find out what else came in the package. So this is the box, it has a very, very nice glossy photo of what you are getting inside there. So this is the Baton 4 Premium Edition, it lets you know you have the case as well as the light, five times charging from your case, as well as a max of 1300 lumens. Let's go ahead and flip it over. All those same specifications I just gave you are right there. Let's go ahead and open it up. So this is just gonna let you know that you do have a few isolators. And as far as those isolators are concerned, you do need to remove those because if you open up your light and it doesn't run, that's going to be why. In addition to that, let's go ahead and dive under there. Now the light itself did come in a plastic sleeve and there are those battery isolators as well. Underneath that, there is a pullout tab and this is your accessories pack. So let's get the box out of the way. And in that accessories box is everything else here. So you do have a USB-C cable. So on one end you have USB-A, and on the other side you have USB-C. It is Olight branded, seems very high quality. Um, I have used a lot of their other ones before, so I left this one wrapped up. 
you do also receive an Olight branded lanyard. Here, let's go ahead and take this out here real fast. So you do receive an Olight branded lanyard. And now if one thing, if you're looking at this and aren't sure quite what it is, this right here, it looks almost like a SIM tool for a cell phone. Here, let's go. But what this is, is this allows you to hook, oh, this is a little difficult while I'm on camera. This allows you to hook up your lanyard inside this hole. And that tool, that tool is gonna be there to help fish this out. One eternity later. Well, I said help fish it out, you know. It might require a little bit of work on your part, but it is a very strong and secure lanyard with adjustability, so you know that it will stay in place. Also inside that accessories pack, you do get your warning manual here. You get an Olight branded microfiber cleaning cloth. This comes in at six inches by six inches. And the user manual. Now this is a very comprehensive set of instructions that's gonna walk you through literally everything about your light, how to use it, how to use the case, and what each mode is compatible with. So make sure to hang on to this and read through it at least once. Now let's go ahead and get this accessories pack out of the way and bring you down here because let's get intimate with this light. All right now as far as that Baton 4 goes, let's move the case aside for just a second and let's take a look at the Baton 4. So one really, really cool thing about this is these indicators here, uh, that's not just a regular screen on top of anything else. What they did is they actually did a micro perforation. So each of those is probably about a hundred individually machined holes. Uh, now, I don't know if they use a laser or, or how they do that process, but very, very cool. And when I saw the video of them zooming in on that, it kind of blew my mind. But let's focus here first on the bezel. So a very nice brass color uh, comes in in a, in a gold as opposed to like a, a rose gold or a patina. So you have your emitter down in there. Very deep concave TIR optic. Step down into that bezel. There we go. You see the groove here for that pocket clip. The pocket clip matches that bezel very, very well, as well as that power switch. Now the power switch, unlike the Baton 3, which I will show you here in just a little bit, the power switch is metal now, so you're gonna get very, very long life. You don't have to worry about wearing out or anything like that. So uh, that was a conscious choice on the part of Olight to make sure that you get as long runtime as possible. So we'll step down again. You do see that Baton 4 here, as well as the serial number, and 180 degrees of that. You do have the Olight branding, and then if you can see it here, this is where the battery tube meets the head. So let's go ahead and take this off just for a second so you guys can see this. And there is a double spring because yes, this does have the battery post facing up and you do get that magnetic proprietary charging as well. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. So not the th thickest spring in the world, um, but Frankly, for something like this, I don't know if it's needed. Now you do have some uncoated square cut threads on the battery tube side. And real fast before I don't, here is that battery, 3.6 volts, 650 milliamp hours. And this is the IMR 16340. So you see that, that positive and negative terminal both on the same side, but that allows the negative terminal to stay over here as well. So you can still use that magnetic charging. Now let's pop that back in. You do see that O-ring seal right here. And as far as the baton goes, uh, the baton, the S1R2 that I have, as well as the baton three, I am really a fan of their machining. It is super, super well done. And the finish that goes on it as well, just looks fantastic. So let's keep going down. Actually here, let's go ahead and put this back in. And then on the bottom side, you will see those same posts that match up with your magnetic charging. And this allows you to just drop it on one of your magnetic chargers, which is not included with the premium edition, by the way, but you can drop it right on one of the magnetic chargers and you're off to the races. 
So real fast about those battery indicators I was telling you about, um, as well as the output indicators. So for the output indicators, you have three little holes right here, and that top one, that's going to come on when you're in high mode. That middle one, that's going to come on when you're in medium, and you're going to have just that low one, or just that bottom one, uh, when you're in low or moonlight mode. Now if you hit turbo, that will strobe through them. Here, let me go to turbo real fast so you guys can see. Let's do a quick... They're not showing up very well on camera, but they are flashing through, at least for the first few seconds. And then as far as the battery indicator is concerned, that top one's going to be illuminated when you have over 60% battery. That middle one's going to be illuminated when you're between 60 and 10%. That bottom one's going to go green when you're between 5 and 10% battery. And that bottom one will turn red when you're, when you're under 5% battery. So real fast, let's go ahead and take a look at the case. So as I was trying to show you before, um, you do have that lanyard hole here, and that's pretty much it except for that hinge on this side. You have the Olight wireless charger, and now instead of, instead of coming straight across like the old one, uh, you do have a little bit of a swoop, and it is intentional. So you have also here your direction indicator showing which way the lens of your flashlight needs to be facing when it's in there. And one new feature is they have an output indicator here. So this is this one currently is at 62% battery, and that's because I've been running it for a while now. Um, but that's not just a fancy display. So when you have your light in here, which attaches magnetically, but when you have your light in there, you can actually turn the light on. Here, let's go like this. You can turn the light on with that button. So you can press it and turn it on, and when it is on, press and hold, and that'll go through a stepless dimming and ramping up cycle. So very, very cool. But one thing to note is that the button here is not compatible with the S1R, S1R2, the Parent Mini, and the Parent 2 Mini. So let's take this back out real fast, and we can take a look in there. So those posts in there match up very, very well with the same wireless pads on the bottom of your Baton 4. Nothing up here on the top, just a provision for the lens. And one important thing to note too, is if you do have your light on and you shut the, the lid, it will automatically turn your light off. So a lot of ingenuity, a lot of forethought, and a lot of planning from Olight on that part. So I applaud them on that. Now, like I said, this does have USB-C charging built in. And wouldn't you know it, I happen to have an old S9 Plus and a USB-C to C cable right here. So if you hook up a USB-C to C cable into your Baton 4 Premium case, you can go ahead and attach the other side here. The indicator comes on to let you know that it is powering up. And, oh, here, let me get this out of the way of the light. So it shows that the phone is charging. So fantastic, fantastic implementation of being able to use this as a power bank as well. Let's go ahead and take this out. And as far as indicators go, I will show you also, since I have that USB-C cord out, there is a flashing lightning indicator up here that lets you know that the phone is, or rather the case is charging and as soon as this reaches 100%, that will disappear. So you'll know that your, your case is topped off and everything is always ready to go. Now, if I set this aside, I want to go ahead and walk through the user interface with you for the Baton 4. So one thing you can do, first and foremost, is press the button once to turn it on. Press it again, it'll turn it off. But if it is unlocked, you can press and hold. It'll go into moonlight for a split second, and then it will lock out the light. So right now you got nothing going on. You will get a couple battery indicators here letting you know that it is locked out. But you can press and hold again, and it'll unlock it. And that right there dropped it into moonlight mode. But when it's unlocked, you can press and hold for a split second too, and that'll drop it into moonlight mode. And from here you can press and hold. So you started at that half lumen moonlight mode, now we're at that low mode, press again, this is medium, 
press again. This is 600 lumens from high mode. And then if you want to ramp up from here, it is a double press to turbo. So this is 1300 lumens now coming from the baton four. If you want to, you can also do three presses, one, two, three, and that will activate a strobe. Another thing you can do is turn the light on. And then if you do a double press and hold, so press once and then hold on the second one, when it flashes once like that, it means you're on a three minute timer. And if you do it again, double press and hold. Two flashes like that, that means you're set on a nine minute timer. So if you ever need your light specifically for a certain amount of time, and you wanna make sure that it shuts off automatically, the Baton 4 will do that as well. So very, very nice, uh, super awesome implementation. And I don't, I don't know how, um, for the marginal increase in size over the Baton 3, I don't know how they managed to squeeze so much into this new device. But now that we've spent a while talking about the Baton 4 and the Baton 4 Premium case, what I want to do is I want to put this with a head-to-head -head challenge. Now, I think it's important to make sure that new lights are definitely better than their old counterpart. Uh, so we're going to do a comparison to the Baton 3 Premium. Now the Baton 3 Premium, this is their white one. Let me get this out of here. For starters, let's go ahead and take a look at how these compare side by side. And not only that, there are differences in the cases as well. But let's get the cases out of the way. Let's take a look at these here. I'm just, I'm not going to talk about the Baton 3 at all. Let's just go ahead and cycle through or circle these around. All right, so there are definitely some key differences here. But not only that, with the cases, the Baton 3 Premium is slimmer, but you don't get as large a battery, you don't get the USB-C, you don't get the controls. So yes, it is more svelte and more compact, but you don't get all the same features. So let's go ahead and get these out of the way. And I want to do a comparison from the Baton 3, the outgoing model, and the Baton 4, the new hotness, so to speak. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these outside, find out how they compare side by side, so you guys can see if the upgrades are worth it, and you know if it's something that you'd like for yourself. So let's get out there and do this. All right, guys, tonight we have the Baton 4 Premium Edition, although I'm not gonna direct anything from the case, it is just going to be the actual handheld unit. So for starters, let's go ahead and drop this thing into moonlight mode. Now, I know this probably won't show up very well. This is half a lumen, and maybe you guys can see the indicators. But I'll go ahead and press and hold now. Now we are in low mode. This is medium. This is high, so 600 lumens. And if I do a quick double press, this is 1300 lumens from the Baton 4. Now I will go ahead and do a triple press just so you can see that strobe. This is a very quick strobe uh, and it is singular or it is uh, stationary. Wow, what's the right word for that? It is uh, one single frequency. It doesn't alternate. There we go. Let's go with that one. And to put it into perspective, we have the Baton 3 here. So with the Baton 3, I'll go ahead and press and hold. This is moonlight mode. This is quite a bit uh, brighter than the half lumen of the Baton 4. I'll go ahead and press and hold. This is low, medium, high, and I'll go ahead and do a double press here for turbo. Now this one actually appears a little bit warmer. So I will do a triple press for this one as well. That same single pattern strobe. This one appears to be just a little bit slower, at least to my eye. And so we can see it one, one more time. This is the Baton 4 in turbo, all 1300 lumens. 
and the Baton 3 in turbo. This one does appear just a little bit softer, not as defined of a hot spot. All right, and now that we saw the Baton 4 up against the Baton 3, we saw Moonlight, Low, Medium, High, and Turbo. Let's go ahead and get back inside so we can touch up on a few keynotes and what I thought about this. All right, guys, so we went outside and we saw the Baton 4 with its 1300 lumens, 170 meters of thrill. We compared that to the 1200 lumens of the Baton 3. Now, cases aside, these lights do look very similar. You notice a little more of a shoulder up here next to the next to the power switch, and that's because they did implement some new lighting here to let you know exactly what output mode and what your battery level are at. But aside from that, they look very similar. Uh, this does kind of reminisce back to the S1R2 days uh, as far as the, the knurling design, and it's less elongated than the Baton 3. But let's go ahead and get this out of the way now and just talk about the fact that the Baton 4 is an insanely huge value as far as what you can get for light. Uh, 1300 lumens in something so incredibly small. I mean, yes, there are brighter at smaller, but I mean, as, as, far, as, as far as Olight goes, you can't beat the fact that this just will consistently run. And if anything does ever occur, uh, anything purchased after the new year, well, last year, so everything purchased after January does ha now have a lifetime warranty. So if you do have any issues on your Baton 4, whether you order just the light or the Baton 4 premium case, uh, any issues that you might have, Olight will take care of without a doubt. So guys, uh, I highly, highly recommend the Baton 4. I don't know, frankly, how they get so much usability, so much technology, uh, and everything like that integrated into such a compact package. But... I mean, I'm sure the OLED engineers get paid more than I do, so you got to hand it to them. So guys, if again, the Baton 4 is something that you are interested in with or without the case, go ahead and click on the links down in the comments and the description below, and you can get access to that OLED Black Friday sale. If you use the coupon code TSTA10, that will get you 10% off of everything that is non-sale or the X9R. So go ahead, check out those links below because it is running from today, the 20th of November at 8 p.m. all the way to the 27th at midnight. So get in there quick, make your purchases, and go ahead and join the Olight world. And finally, if you guys like this video or any of my other videos, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, because that's the only way we can keep doing stuff like this. Also, if you do subscribe, click on that bell notification down below, because that will let the algorithms know that you want to see as soon as we get a new video out, or we're doing another giveaway. So thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next one.